Hello. In this video, I want to show you how to upgrade this um, 15 inch ELO Touch a uh, ET 1547L touchscreen uh, to our UB54 series. Um, we do this LED kit comes with two LED strip, one LED driver, one wire wire adapters, couple of the aluminum foils, and it's you know to upgrade is quite easy. So let me set aside and show you the procedures. Okay, again, this model is called ET 1547L. Okay. To save time, I already actually uh, removed most of the screws. Just take out my metal covers, all right? Then remove this touch wires, and then there's uh, two screws on each side. You need to remove it. After you remove it, you just pop it up to separate this touch screens, okay? We set it aside, set it aside the touch screen and covers. And uh, next thing we need to do is that we need to disconnect this see this backlight connections and then you're gonna flip over like this okay there's a couple of screws one two three four or one two three four and um, you know you can either remove this four screw or just remove this two screw to take it out uh, the screen um, all right so you just take out one I took out some already so then, two. then you set it again. This is, uh, you set it, I always put it this way so you can, you can slightly tilt up. Okay, tilt up, you see that uh, the connections here, you see that? Get your hand behind. Of course, slowly uh, we move that uh, the tip first. Okay. Move the tip. Tip is quite sticky. Or you can, if you want to, you can use a flat uh, screwdriver to separate. That way, then you can open it. You see this? Now you just pull it. Oh, this I got yellow paper. Let me see. Now it's see. I just take this one. We can reuse it, okay? Set it out, set it aside. Okay, just be gentle. This is the chassis. All right, the chassis. Let me set the chassis aside. Let's look at look uh, this screen. This screen is actually made by Changwa. The screen part number is CLAA one five zero XG zero nine F. It's using the same screen as the ET45, uh, uh, 1545. So this need to be removed. After we remove this bracket, then uh, we could uh, replace to upgrade this uh, LED backlight to the CCFL. Uh, we're gonna show you in the next video. Remove this tip. This clip, plastic clip, we need to remove this. The, uh, Ribbon cable, just flick up the plastic, see that? Take it out, separate. And but here we had the plastic, right? So the easiest way to cut it, but again, you see all these tabs underneath this one. So usually I would look like this. Just touch the metal, do not stick inside, just outside. So that way we it's e make sure it don't won't damage a uh, a tab because there's a plastic in between the cover so I would say this is probably almost easier see this now straight out all this clips there's some clips and then uh, we gotta remove this metal thing just be really careful and using a small flat head start one side at a time see it This tip you can just cut it. Bend it. Let's see. This side? No. Okay. Yes. Okay. You see, it's coming out already. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
here has some this side also has be really careful you see this side also have a plastic too do the same thing you see this do the same thing just touch the metal cut the outside so make sure it don't damage the steps and then straighten this thing out Really sure, okay. I still left some here, so I'll just make sure it cut up. Okay, just make sure you cut out them all, otherwise, they will still attach to the metal. Okay, now I'll try again. And then to the side. Just be sure to cut all these tips out. I mean, still have a little. See that? Now we take out the metal cover and we clean the face a little bit. Here's a liquid glass, right? So usually we lay it down like this and let it drop. Bend this. Remember, there's a couple of screws that we had to be fill the screw here holding the green interface module, the LVDS and the mask interface board needs to be removed in order to take this board out. Okay, so just no, no be trying to rush, rush, just take your time, bend this over and remove the screw. You can just lift over this. Alright, the liquid glass is here. Okay. And if you see some dirt you can clean now or later. We can do it later. Okay, now. Oh, we set that aside. This is a bad light unit. Next thing we need to remove this plastic film and then remove the diffusion sheet. Then we can access a uh, a uh, Lamb assembly. So here we go. Looks like this one's. Let me see where should we start here. Okay, we should start on this side. Oh, there's some screws here. One, one. Two, three, four, four small screws that holding the plastic too. I forgot to. We gotta remove it. One. Two. All right. So we flip over. Try again because uh, we had just removed the screw. There we go. There you go. See that? Okay. Here you go. Take it out. Right? The way I do it, usually I would do it like this. Face on the top of the liquid glass. But this one, uh, I let me set it this diffusion to that side. So, well, we can together, we can do it later. So now, the whole stack is even better. The whole stack, take it out, then you don't have to worry about the diffusion sheet. So, whole stack take it out and set it aside. Okay. 